Hi, my name is Will Harms. I'm the Vice President for Medical Affairs of Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina. One of the most important things that everybody can do to avoid getting the flu is um, one, to actually use good hand washing. Um, that keeps you from um, transferring germs for, from things that you have touched to your mouth or your nose, which may possibly result in you developing the flu. Um, that also um, prevents you from passing germs on that you might have that could infect somebody else. Um, so the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, has actually given some guidance on, on the best technique to wash your hands. So the first thing is to actually wash your hands under running water. Second, once your hands are wet, they suggest that you actually turn the water off, turn the faucet off, and you get the soap and you lather your hands extensively for 20 seconds. Then you rinse them off again under running water and um, you dry them with a clean towel and you should be as free of germs as you can be. Um, the second thing is really to strongly consider um, uh, getting a flu shot. Uh, the advice of the CDC or Centers for Disease Control is that everybody age six and above should strongly consider getting a flu shot. Uh, and the reason for it is the same as for any vaccination or immunization, and that is one, to protect the person who has the immunization from getting the condition, in this case influenza or flu. Second, it's to keep you from passing influenza on to somebody else who might not have been uh, immunized. Many times we uh, are prescribed antibiotics for germs that are not responsive. Uh, additionally, germs that have been responsive in the past sort of learn how to uh, become resistant. The, the biggest problem for overuse of antibiotics is the development of resistant germs that we now don't currently have a therapy to treat successfully.